Today I'm going to show you both methods side by side and then we're going to discuss when you should use long division and when you should use short division. So in this video I'm going to do the same question twice. So I'm going to draw a line down the middle of my screen. On one side I'm going to do short division. On the other side we're going to do long division. And then we're going to talk about what's the same between and what's different. So the first thing that is the same is that right at the very beginning they both look exactly the same. So they both use the bus stop and we're going to write the number that we are dividing underneath. So 5292 we're going to write the number that we are dividing by on the outside of the bus stop like that. So that's one thing that's the same. Um, the next thing that is the same is that both can be used to divide by a two digit number. So we're dividing by 12 in this example. Um, and the last thing that is the same about short division and long division is that a list should be made before doing any working out. Okay, so the number that we are dividing by is 12, so I'm going to make a list of the 12 times table. Now, some people decide not to do this, okay, maybe because they're lazy, but if you make a list of the number you are dividing by, one, it makes it a lot easier and quicker, in my opinion, and two, it leads to less mistakes, definitely, because there's less mental maths that you need to do. And I always find maths easier when I can see the numbers rather than just imagining the numbers. So that's everything that's the same. Now let's go and work through these two examples and we're going to talk about what's different as, as we go along. So I'm going to go how many 12s in 52. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to put my 4 above just like this. Now, 4 12s is 48, so this is the main difference between short and long division. I have to do a mental calculation now of 52 take away 48, and that gives me 4 remainder. And I put that 4 onto the next number. So I'm going to show you how that looks in long division now. So how many 12s in 52? So the answer is the same, 1, 2, 3, 4. So write my answer above there. But instead of doing 52 take away 48 mentally, I'm going to do it here, and I'm going to write it below. 52 take away 48, and that leaves me with 4. Now, here it says 49, but to get that 49 in long division, we have to bring the 9 down. So it goes there. Okay, so that's the next calculation that I'm going to make. How many 12s in 49? So the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4 again. And again, another mental calculation is needed. So 49 take away 48 leaves me with one remainder. Okay, let's have a look at how that looks in long division. How many 12s in 49? 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I do 49, take away 48. And the answer is 1 remainder. So 12 is already made up there in short division, but for long division I have to bring the 2 down to make it 12. And then the final calculation is how many 12s in 12? That's 1. How many 12s in 12? 1. So as you can see, we've got the same answer twice. And now I've completed both. It's fairly obvious why short division is called short division and why long division is called long division. Okay, Long division looks a lot longer than short division. With short division, I had to do a lot more mental calculations. Okay, With long division, I was able to work it out with pen and paper, which I think would lead to less mistakes. But let's finish this video by saying, 
when should you use short division and when should you l use long division? Now what I would say to that is I would use short division if I am dividing by a one digit number. So if I was doing 392 divided by 5 I would choose short division method but if I was um, dividing by a two digit number so let's say I was dividing by 18 and the number was 592 I would choose long division because this taking away section for me makes sure that I don't make any mental mistakes okay tell me what you think down in the comment section though when do you think we should use long division and when do you think we should use short division hope you like this video if it was helpful for you then please smash that like button and if you'd like more free maths videos from a qualified teacher then hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. Bum, 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 bum.